Hello everyone, I've cobbled up this video to inform you of some important details about the PS5 disc release of Elden Ring that comes bundled with the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. Collectors, and those who are particular about owning their titles, may find this information useful. If you are curious to know whether the new release has an updated game build, I can confirm that the North American Disc Edition of Shadow of the Earth Tree for the PS5 has version 1.10 and the game can be installed from the disc and played completely offline. Version 1.10 was released on the 26th of July 2023 and it was the latest version of the game until From Software released patch 1.12 that added support for the DLC just prior to its release. On this edition, the DLC still needs to be downloaded and you can see that information on the sticker from the cover art. This is unfortunately the case in all regions. The European Shadow of the Earth 3 editions also have version 1.10. However, the Japanese release has the unpatched version 1.0. This is the same build that was originally released worldwide in February of 2022. So Japanese players get the losing end of the Elden Ring stick here. And that is all. Although the expansion must be downloaded, you will have a very up-to-date and relatively bug-free build of the main game to own for yourself. Despite the unfortunate trend where companies require a download on boxed editions, this release still offers a much better deal because owning the main game in a patch state is preferable to the original release. For those who don't know, when Elden Ring was first made available in February of 2022, the physical editions on PS4 and PS5 lacked many of the features that were introduced with the day one patch and with subsequent patches. There are videos showing the differences here on YouTube, so you can check those for detailed examples. And there are lots of them. I will just briefly mention some of the issues. While version 1.0 gives a fascinating glimpse into the creative process, it is very much a work in progress and it is the state of the game from around October of 2021 when the Gold Master was being prepared for the subsequent retail Blu-rays. Some crucial bits of information, particularly on item descriptions that were changed later, provide more insight into the fascinating but very obscure Elden Ring lore. Enemies have different movesets, and the most interesting is an alternate Melania Waterfowl dance that is only available in version 1.0 and I think this version where we see more clearly Melania hop on one leg like a crane is superior to what we ended up getting in the patched version. Version 1.0 has numerous changes both large and small and by numerous I mean numerous. In general enemies and bosses are harder. Side quests for Kenneth High and Nefeli Lu remain unfinished and cannot be completed. Some items simply do not exist and many chests are empty when opened. Armor sets that are present in the patched versions are missing or found elsewhere. To give an example, when Encha is defeated, he does not leave his armor, although we do get his weapon. The most unfortunate omissions are in item descriptions which in the unpatched game are still a work in progress check out what is supposed to be the winged sword insignia, here not having a name yet but instead just a placeholder label. Some changes are relatively harmless. The regalia of Elkate, a sword that carried me throughout my entire first playthrough, is called Elkate's gem sword. Kamet Azur is called Dark Bolide. The icons and descriptions for Ashes of War were changed or enhanced with the subsequent patches. Descriptions for the spirit ashes are shorter and some are missing altogether. Rotten stray ashes found on a corpse in Kaled is not present in version 1.0 at all. All this points to a development stage that was still in progress and item locations and item descriptions were not yet finalized. More noticeably, overworld and combat music from various regions is missing. In Liurnia, the combat music from Limgrave plays.
Radan's boss music is the same as Melania's, while in the patched release, he had his own unique music. The roundtable hold music is replaced by the Lanedale Capital music. The battle against the four sisters to defend Millicent in the Halleck tree is near impossible in the unpatched game. They move way too fast, hand out incredible damage, and gang on you and Millicent like flies on Godric's poop. If you manage to hold long enough, they will kill Millicent before you even manage to kill one sister. And if you try to take them on, even one at a time, you will die. If you get them to come after you by using Shiburi's talisman, it's game over, man, before you can say foursome harem of death. In my playthrough, when almost all hope was lost, I managed to jump on the broken column and had them focus on me by using Shiburi's talisman, all the while Millicent proceeded to chip away at their health. The sisters are hard in the patched version, but they are not this hard. Here, because the difficulty was not yet finalized, they are near impossible. So all this leads to the biggest issue with the many changes and omissions. Many crucial story elements are missing. We miss important lore, like the fact that Rani was killed in body and Godwin in spirit, as described by the course mark of death. Rogier's bloodstain in Stormvale Castle, showing how he was death blighted does not exist in the unpatched version, and there's no way to make it appear. No matter how hard I tried, I could not give Roderica the chrysalid's memento, and her crimson hood was not available on the body mound inside Stormvale Castle, even after she took it off and became a spirit tuner. I was not able to find that cape anywhere else, so it may not even exist in the unpatched game at all. I could go on, but you get it. There are so many changes that it's not even possible to keep count. And this makes the new patch disc that was released with the DLC in June of 2024 the best version to have if you want to own the main game. Thank you for watching and try not to break your controller.